what is going on guys welcome back to my channel for another video build and to those people who are new here you're most welcome everyone to this video is something a little bit different quite uncommon machine one of the machines that i've been dreaming to build for many years already and i thought i have to build this one day and i'm just so glad that it finally came to realization Many thanks to all who supported my channel through subscribing, giving likes, sharing your comments, and by simply watching them. That's exactly what you're doing now. I really appreciate it. If you like what I'm doing here, please subscribe. My channel is quite small and there's a chance that you might not find me again next time. Thank you. Anyway, this milling machine design went through a lot of versions. I lost count how many they were. I was just trying to make sure that the end result is worth all the penny and the sweat that I invested on this. And honestly, the ideas are endless, so my indecision over which design is the best is costing me months and months of delay. I thought I should just pick one design and just go over with it and make it. This homemade machine can be easily compared to a CNC. Yes, it works and looks like it and was one of my design references, especially the guide rail system, but the major inspiration of this build for me is a radial arm saw. This project came about because of it. I was amazed when I first saw one. And radial arm saw is a great tool and one of the most versatile woodworking machine in my opinion. When I first saw how radial arm saw were used, first thing came to my mind, they should put wheels on it. So I did. Just letting you know that this build is not a fully detailed video that I usually do here in my channel. Rather, I'm just about to show you the overview of the step-by-step -step process. But I'm pretty much sure that you will understand what I'm trying to do here. This project is too complex and would take too long to cover everything. It's way more complex than my homemade table saw if you've seen it and I'm not really 100% sure if anyone would actually be interested in building this. Maybe some few but the point is this is purely an inspirational build but you may get some ideas that can be applied on other similar projects or just for passing time just like I do sometimes. And I guess the plans won't be available for this one. But let me know if anyone is interested. I might or I might build an easier version in the future. Let me know in the comment section below. Also, I've done too many variations in the plans as the design was at 80% complete only when I started it. And it was a mess. And the rest of the parts were thought out later as I progress. As I'm really having a hard time sticking my head on one particular design of a part or a mechanism and out of frustration I just go ahead with the build. When I finish cutting the parts, I proceed with assembling the torsion box or the bench. The whole thing is made out of plywood and MDF. The bench top is an MDF sheet to make sure it's flat as possible and it's virtually uniform in thickness. The torsion box design is for rigidity and flatness. The height of the box is 250mm. That is quite high but it's for additional rigidity. I cut rectangular openings on the side and under the bench for maintenance. There is a void on the middle of the bench as you can see so I can put in there the materials and secure it with the Moxon vise. The 
guide rail is a perfectly cut long piece of plywood with aluminum angle screwed on the corners of the top at the bottom where the ball bearing would roll. I took time screwing it on so that the top and the bottom are parallel. Using a caliper, I made sure that the measurements are exact and on point. I'm also careful with the clamps and driving the screws, making sure that the clamping force is even on the surface. I designed the gantry a lot wider and thicker than a common CNC, doubling up the materials and dimensions with a longer base too, where the guide bearing will go, so that it will be more stiffer and has better balance, enough to carry two power tool attachments at the same time on both front and back of the gantry, and allowing you to hold up the weight of any power tool so it won't buckle over time. This is the guide bearing installed sideways and it will hold the gantry from falling over to the side. It can be removed and can be adjusted accordingly, depending on how tight or loose to achieve a smoother sliding movement on the guide rail. I was reluctant to assemble and fix permanently the carriage on the first go, worried that I would encounter some problems with the alignments that's going to be very difficult to correct if it's all glued already. I bought CNC guide rails 300mm in length for the Z axis. The short ones are still affordable for me. It's more accurate and compact as well. Dry fitting the gantry took me a while to assemble it and I can't find any valuable scene to share with you but basically the carriage is a plywood that's wrapped around the gantry held together by long threaded rods from top to bottom and side to side. There are four ball bearings on the front, rear, top and the bottom so total of 16 ball bearings for that. These are motorcycle bearings, so I'm pretty sure it's really heavy duty bearings. Though the gantry is made of plywood, that's just a bit questionable. Regarding its longevity, I don't know how long it can hold up the weight without buckling, but I'm going to replace it soon with a stronger or thicker materials if ever. Here I'm just applying sealer and brushing on the primer paint to protect the wood from the weather. The humidity in my area is very high almost all throughout the year. I thought I should paint it. Though I know that plywood is stable material but the constant changing of weather weakens the glue between the plies and I cannot take any chances. Better protect it now so it won't bother me in the future. Well, this will be the end of part 1. I hope to see you all in part 2. Please subscribe and ring the bell so you get notified whenever I have new videos coming up. I hope you enjoyed the video. See you guys on the next one. Bye for now.